SSV Football Premier League, live from the Darabin International Sports Centre. A very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, right here in Victoria and right around the world, wherever you might be watching this grand final. It's a girls' grand final first up. This game between Roval Secondary College and Maribyrnong Sports Academy. And then our second game is a little bit later on this afternoon at 1.30. It's the boys' game, and that'll be between John Faulkner College and Maribyrnong Sports Academy Joining me in commentary today for the uh, for this first game is Nicholas Fiaggio, one of the coaches at Maribyrnong Sports Academy. G'day, Nicholas. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Fantastic, thank you. Mate, uh, another great effort by Maribyrnong, in this case, to get through to another final. I think for the Maribyrnong girls, competition's been running for five years and they've won every final so far up until this year. Yeah, great effort so far and they've been working hard. I know this term. They certainly have. For the boys, it's a different situation sixth year of the competition for the boys and the Maribyrnong team's been in every grand final but has only actually won once in 2019 that was last year against John Faulkner College all the uh, grand finals before that they lost to Roval Secondary College and uh, of course that grand final last year was played just before we went into our COVID uh, pandemic situation and we're just uh, well are we coming out of it that's all another story isn't it Fantastic effort for the girls to get this far. The run for both teams, Nicholas, has been that both uh, Roval and Maribyrnong beat Keelor Downs and Cedar, which were the two teams in their group. And then in the game against Roval in the third group game, because Maribyrnong was effectively guaranteed a spot in the finals, they forfeited that game against Roval just due to the amount of injuries oh, okay. that they had at the time. So interesting to see a lot of those girls are back, but still a couple of girls missing from the team. Yeah, there's been a few girls carrying injuries throughout the term, so it's good to see most of them back and healthy for this one. It certainly is. It's uh, great to see them. The girls are on the park, as you can see, and we're uh, not too far away from a start. We'll go through the uh, the lineups for you for both Maribyrnong and Roval. The Maribyrnong team, we've got uh, Olivia Anderson, Alana Cortellino, Olivia De La Plaza Sanchez, Sienna Flower, Fowler, I should say, Yana Goats, Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo playing for Maribyrnong, it's not <laughs> a bad effort, uh, Tiffany Najowski, Emily Rutkowski, Talisa Soto, Bella Stringfellow, Olivia Suarez, Nicola Schultz and Anastasia Semeres. And for Roval, Rose Curtis is there, Elijah Conception Farfin, Alana Murphy, Belinda Sajewski, Miet Giorgio Maya Goggin, Elena K. Aguri, Candice Kildar uh, Kilderi, Katie Summers, Emma Downward, Ash Lavender, Charlotte Lorenz Daniel, Annabelle Monte, and Shane Yutatov are the players for the Roval team. As we kick off the action here at the beautiful Darabin International Sports Centre, which is having a fair bit of work done to it at the moment behind us, but this uh, pitch that we're playing on today. Looking pretty spectacular. Alana Murphy with the touch of the ball there for Roval. Sends it out wide and Roval in attack now. Maribyrnong defence. Pressure applied for Roval by Maya Goggin. And the ball will go over the line for a throw in. Interesting uh, addition to the Maribyrnong team Anastasia Samaras, I believe, is the normal goalkeeper for the girls' team. She's got an injured hand at the moment, so she's playing, but not as goalkeeper. Juliet, Juliet Sher Sheriff has been brought into the team. She's actually part of the Maribyrnong hockey program and is a goalkeeper with the hockey program. So it'll be interesting to see if that translates into a soccer goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, great effort to fill in, help the girls out today. Yeah, Anastasia's in uh, my group in the mornings, and she's yeah, she's got a hand on her hand right now, so... You get to see her out on the pitch as a field player. Yeah, no doubt about it. And uh, I can tell you what, some uh, some interesting work from San Frangos this morning <laughs> on our uh, hockey goalkeeper <laughs> to see if he can get her right. So a good opportunity for Roval, having an inexperienced player in goals. Let's see if they can capitalise on it as the ball gets sent forward now for Maribyrnong. Over the line, throw in to take place. Miet Giorgio. It's a long throw to the halfway line. Maribyrnong, though, in possession. Suarez sends it wide. Roval, though, with the interception. Down the line, looking to defend for Maribyrnong is Nicholas Schultz. The 
cross comes in though and a good take by Juliet Sheriff for Maribyrnong and they will look to take it out of their defensive area. Najovsky played the ball back. It's sent forward now by Maribyrnong and once again over the line and another throw in. They just... They're not playing very deep at the moment, Maribyrnong. They seem to have all their plays sort of up towards the halfway line and back. Yeah, I think right now they're just looking to get their rhythm, get in their team shape. It looks like they're playing a 4-3-3 at the start, so we'll see if that changes as we go. Here's a chance. Schultz with the cross for Roval. Shot in towards goal, and the first goal on the board goes to Roval. And we'll try and get you that player good piece of play by Roval there Nicholas yeah very direct ball over the top over the center backs and yeah great finish to put it away so early in the game Roval leading 1-0 against Maribyrnong Sports Academy ball sent out wide by Stringfellow Roval with numbers back in defence again. This time up to the halfway line. It's Goggin with the drive down the middle. Maribyrnong though, plenty of numbers back. They're able to repel that. Nice work this time for Maribyrnong by Najowski. Sends it out wide. Running players, Cordelino. She'll put in the cross. Anyone there for Maribyrnong? No. The ball yeah. stays in though. Didn't go over the back line. And a good intercept for Maribyrnong. Yeah, that was a good piece, good piece of play there from Alana to get down the line there, put in a good cross. Unfortunately, no one at the back post to finish that one. So, Rover with the ball once more. Goggin again. She's had plenty of it. She sends it to Fernandez. Rover now just setting something up through their defence. Here it comes. Giorgio with the drive down the middle. Marmanon defending stoutly. Roval, though, with the opportunity to take the ball again through Giorgio. That time around Katie. Losing the ball for Roval. Mopping up in the back is Ordenes. And once again, this ball close to the line. Maribyrnong looking to bring it forward. But again, strong defence from the Roval team. Sees them with another opportunity. Marilong this time with the turnover. Stringfellow gets around one, gets around two, through the middle, on her own, around three, but couldn't get the fourth. Good defending by Roval. And Roval with a 1 0 lead in the game at the moment. Yeah, All Ma over the line, it will be Roval's throw. Maribyrnong looking dangerous down that left side with Al Alana getting on the ball there. Uh, Roville looking very good playing out from the back and moving the ball side to side in possession. Once again, they've got it. Giorgio playing well through the mid at the moment. Ball sent down to Curtis with the cross. Good defending though by Maribyrnong. They've got the numbers back there. It falls down. Curtis again takes it this time. Sets it up in front of goal. An opportunity for Juliet Sheriff, though, to come out and save the day for Maribyrnong. Stringfellow, down the middle, nice ball. Just maybe a little bit too much on it. And in the end, Roval able to defend. De La Plaza Sanchez was the target for Stringfellow, and it just had too much legs. Ball in dispute in the middle. Maribyrnong come out of it. And they do through Fowler. 
Start to work the ball now through the back. Rutkowski. Roval, though, take possession once more. Wide ball, it's too wide. And over the line. And it will be a Maribyrnong ball to be thrown in by Sienna Fowler. Ball lost that time by Roval's number 38, Fernandez. Roval again with the setup. Again, another long wide ball looking this time for Goggin, but it was uh, too much for her. And that ball goes over the line. Back on the halfway line. Fernandez. Maribyrnong again. Great Off hold the up ball. play there. And a great ball across to Alana. Nice ball across to the left side. Alana Cordellino with it now. Tried to get through two, three plays, just fell down at the end. Good stop, though, by Najowski. But you're spot on, Nicholas. If they uh, keep peppering that left-hand side, they will be dangerous. Yeah. And will, you, you would think we'll get a score out of it eventually. Yeah, they look most dangerous down that left side, trying to get the ball to Alana as quickly as possible. I think that's where they'll be successful. There it is again. Oh, yep, there it is. Alana Cordellino. With the ball down the left-hand side. She'll put in the cross. No, she won't. Good defending by the Roval team. Ball close to the line. It's kept in. Roval 1-0 up. We've played just on 13 minutes. In this first half, the Premier League Grand Final between Roval Secondary College and Maribyrnong. It's a great through ball. That is a beautiful ball. Looking out wide for Roval's Goggin, Mayor Goggin. She's had a fair bit of it so far in the first 13 minutes of the game. Oh. That is a lovely shot at goal and a lovely goal great in the end. Finish. Fantastic work for Roval. I believe it was Miette Giorgio. Yeah, great curling effort into that far post, just over the keeper's head and into that side netting. It was just a beautiful, deliberate ball, wasn't it? The, the loop just up and just over the, the keeper. Yeah, very accurate, very accurate finish. So Roval head off to a 2-0 lead. 14 minutes into the first half. Najowski for Maribyrnong starts, restarts play once more. Goggin, who's had plenty of it for Roval, loses the ball this time. Stringfellow into the centre. Suarez. Down the left-hand side. Again, they look to play. The ball came inbound to Stringfellow, but was cut off. And once again, Roval take control. Nice work through the middle. Sienna Fowler for Maribyrnong. With the turnover, sends it inside. De La Plaza Sanchez now. Goes out wide. Cordellino. Also in there is... Talisa Soto for Maribyrnong. And Rove will send that ball over the line. It'll be a Maribyrnong throw. They keep control. Down 2-0 at the moment. 
Yeah, let's see if they could build up some possession in the uh, in Roville's half. They've had a bit of the ball in midfield, but haven't really gotten to play into that final third too often yet. Roval again with the easy out of defence. Good work though for Maribyrnong. Suarez. And Cordellino sending that inside. Might have uh, drew a penalty or did that I go over for a, goal, for a corner I kick? Think it is. Giving a corner kick there, yeah. Got the uh, deflection and the corner kick will be taken by Alana Cordellino. Started this year with the Football Victoria NTC program. Year nine student at Maribyrnong. Low kick. String fellow. Back to Cordellino. Inboard. And another deflection. We'll see another corner going Maribyrnong's way. Again, Alana's been very lively. Probably the liveliest of the attackers for Mary Bernard so far. I think she's going to be taking this corner. Oh, now she's going to give this corner up and get in the box. So, Cordellino giving up the corner this time. Mary Bernard, though. Numbers in defence. Anderson. Sends it out wide, left again. Comes into mop up. She does well, Olivia Anderson. Great work. Win the ball and keep it. Roval though, strong in defence. They've been like that. This time Emma Downward takes it, sends it out wide. Nicholas Schultz for Maribyrnong. Able to get the last touch away from the forward. And once again, over the line and another throw going Roval's way. Deep in their attacking half. 2-0. 17 minutes gone. Beautiful day here at the Darabin International Sports Centre for our Victorian Premier League Finals. School Sport Victoria, Premier League Finals. Great work by Maribyrnong. As they set this up again, no one up forward though. Cordellino runs after her own ball. Good defensive work from Roville. Lajoski tries to keep it in for Maribyrnong. De La Plaza Sanchez also was chasing that. And unfortunately, the ball beat her over the line. And we now have a goal kick going Roval's way. Roval with the final touch on that ball. So it'll go Maribyrnong. Throw on the halfway line. A trail 2-0 to Roval at the moment. Last few minutes seems like the game has lost a bit of its rhythm. Let's see if one team could get a hold of possession and keep that ball trying to play forward to that final third. Throw in from Suarez. String fellow. Beats three. Good job. On the left. Centering ball, unfortunately, though, falls down. Goggin takes it now for Roval. Drives it down the line, looking for a teammate. In Fernandez, but the ball kicked away from her. And Roval with the throw. Ball played long and too long for Roval. Goal kick going. The way of Maribyrnong. It won't be taken by Juliet Sheriff, the goalkeeper, just due to the fact that she's not really a goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah, interesting to see. She probably doesn't have much practice distributing the ball out of the back with her feet. Uh, Correct. Recruited in from the hockey program today due to an injury for Anastasia Samaras, the regular goalkeeper 
for Maribyrnong. So while her stopping skills may be not too bad, <laughs> we just have a little bit of a doubt around her kicking skills. <laughs> yeah, playing out from the back, as I know Maribyrnong usually likes to play, might be a bit more difficult today. Maribyrnong now with the ball. Looking to get one on the board. They trail 2-0 at the moment. Rover with a couple of early scores. Good work. Rovel now looking to bring it out of defence. They do it again nicely. Ball played oh, through the middle. Ball. Just a bit too long though. They're not going to be able to capitalise on it. Maribyrnong defence is going to have to work hard. The ball played back by Suarez. And the keeper in Sheriff... Had to drive that ball out wide. And unfortunately, it was just a bit too long yeah, over the line for a throw. Straight away, Roville pressing that ball back to the keeper, forcing that errant pass. Roville fully aware that applying pressure to this defence of Maribyrnong, especially the last line of defence and the goalkeeper, will be an advantage for them. They've utilised that twice and lead 2-0 on the scoreboard. Maribyrnong in desperate need of one. Just to bring a little bit more momentum back their way. Once again, their defence having to work hard. Been no letdown for the defence, has there, Nicholas? No, not at all. Maribyrnong seems to be locked in their own half right now, trying to, to play out. Doesn't seem to be too many options out there for them to play forward and get into Roville's half. Roville doing a great job of closing the ball down, yeah. being very disciplined, and, uh, yeah, keeping them pinned in. So, once again, the ball sent forward. Roville, again, in defence, take possession through Alana Murphy. As... They play through the middle, as they have been doing all game. And this time, Sheriff deep with the kick out. Utilises a bounce. Maribyrnong with possession on the halfway line. Falls down, though. Sending it forward, Katie Summers. They come from every, everywhere. Emma Downward. Ball crossed into the box. Here's another chance. But good defending again by Maribyrnong to keep that ball out. And again, Roval on the halfway line. Look to turn it around to their advantage. Out wide, Fernandez. Ball played back inside to Summers. Again, Roval with the forward press. Oh. And that ball too long, too wide. Goal kick will be going Marmelong's way. While we see Roval making so many forward sorays up, up towards goal, can get frustrating for them too, the fact that they're not getting yeah, absolutely. full benefit from it. They're switching the play side to side, looking for those uh, spaces to exploit. And right there, good compact defending from Maribyrnong to force that shot from distance. They are applying a lot of pressure, though, in that final third. So they certainly it's are. something to, to have a look at for the next few the minutes. The two things we'll keep our eye on is whether Maribyrnong can continue to repel that pressure, yeah. as they have in the last... Five to seven minutes, or whether it will result in another goal for Roval. Here they come again. Stringfellow for Maribyrnong in defence. The ball sent in this time by 
Elena K. Aguri for Roval. But it will be a throw in going Maribyrnong's way. Nice play by Emma Downward. She holds onto the ball, cross in front of goal. Some tricks there for the Roval forwards. Maya Goggin, though, loses the ball. And once again, Maribyrnong defending stoutly. This time, it's Giorgio for Roval who sends it forward. And again, Maribyrnong with the numbers back there. Yeah, Roval definitely look like they're probing Maribyrnong. A few last-ditch last tackles to deny the goals, deny the shots on target. But at the moment, Roval seem to be on top. Yeah, they do. Cordellino running the ball down the left-hand side herself. It's where she likes it. Ball sent forward, though, and unfortunately, there's no one there for Maribyrnong. The goalkeeper had an easy time in taking that at the top of the box and then driving it long herself. Olivia Anderson back there for Maribyrnong. Sends it back to Sheriff, the keeper. And now Maribyrnong looking to make something out of this. Into the centre of the park. Najowski. Great nice turn. work. Good bit of skill there. To get around the midfielder. Stop though by Giorgio for Roval. Roval with the ball in front of goal. Again, applying the pressure on the defence of Maribyrnong. And once again, the defence holds up. And a corner going the way of Roval. See if Maribyrnong can regroup. Looks like they're doing quite a bit of defending right now. They just need one of those front three attackers to hold the ball up for them so they could join the attack. Right yeah. now they're stuck in their defensive half. A lot of things got to be tiring for the girls out there. So we're in a corner situation. This is going to be interesting for Juliet Sheriff, the goalkeeper. Defending by Maribyrnong to get that ball out of the box once more. But again, Roval peppering in towards goals. The chance and the shot by Goggin is stopped by Sheriff. And again, Maribyrnong. Repel a forward run from Roval. Good work this time by. Katie Summers for Roval. Sends it out wide. The cross in front of goal. Good stop. And the ball just hacked away. <laughs> just for yeah. an opportunity just to take for the Maribyrnong defenders. Dangerous ball in again. The girls are doing well to clear their lines. But again, Roval creating a lot of pressure. Coming up towards 30 minutes of play. Here in the grand final of the School Sports Victoria Premier League Girls Division and it is Maribyrnong and Roval, Roval with a 2-0 lead is that about to change the ball sent forward for Maribyrnong deep and Roval will take the throw but that was good fast paced forward movement, yep great ball in behind and now let's see if we if Maribyrnong could step up and play in Roval's half for a bit, give the defenders a bit of a rest yes, They've definitely had a fair bit of the action down in their half. Maribyrnong, there's no doubt about that. The defenders have done well. They've given up two goals, but it could have been more, no doubt. Lajowski for Maribyrnong. Drives it forward, had to follow up her own ball. Didn't work too well for her in the end. And Roval now. Looking to bring the ball out of their defence again. They do it. Through the middle. It's where they like to play it. Maribyrnong, though, have numbers. Once again, Majowski loses it. This time, though, Murphy sends the ball in towards goal. Sheriff follows it. And 
that allows that to go over the back line. It'll be a goal kick going Melbourne's way. Substitutes for Roval. Twelve, sixteen, and ten. So Annabelle Montalto, Ash Lavender, and Rosie Curtis making their way onto the park. Fresh legs for Roval. They've had the majority of the run this game so far. So, Maribelong once more. De La Plaza Sanchez. Go, 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 take off, take off. Ball played through the middle. Ian Roval, strong in defence. Standing up well, good play for Montalto. It's just onto the park. Gets her first touch. Loses control of the ball and it will be a Maribelong throw just before the halfway line. That was Fowler, who had the ball there for Marby. Roville making it extremely difficult for Maribyrnong to play out right now. It looks like Maribyrnong trying to play on that counter-attack, but yes, yeah, still having trouble getting the ball into the go. It'll be a, uh, a great effort by Maribyrnong if they can stop Roville from getting another goal with the amount of pressure that they're putting on this defence. If they can hold it at 2 nil at half time they uh they will go in they're pretty proud of themselves i would have thought absolutely yeah the back four and the midfield have done a great job working really hard keeping roville in front of them as as often as they can coach for maribyrnong adrian mazzarella they will be looking to do something at half time to try and get a little bit of forward movement maybe a bit more structure up forward for them give his team a opportunity to score interesting to see if the shape of the team changes formation yeah. changes maybe substitution some fresh legs in there as well that's murphy sending it forward now for rival as they work down their right hand side once again back in defense rakowski for maribyrnong and the ball over for a goal kick I thought Sheriff was going to back herself then. <laughs> She's done quite well with her feet today, actually playing out under some heavy pressure from Roville. I've been, I've been impressed with her. Here's a chance for Roville once more. And again, the Maribyrnong defence holding up ever so strong. And they end up coming out with the ball. Great work by Maribyrnong. Ends up at the feet of Nadowski. Just looks like that final thing that was better midfield play. Quick yeah. combination to turn the corner. Unfortunately, no one down that right wing for that pass. Roval. Once more down the right hand side. Curtis. Drives it long. Oh, was it over the line? No. Yes, it was. Flags up. Goal kick. To go Maribyrnong's way or a corner? I think it's going to be a goal. Leave goal kick, I guess. So, 2 0. <laughs> As we head in with around about 14, under 14 minutes to go in this first half. <laughs> Rovel again. Turning over the ball in the midfield. <laughs> Sitting it forward is Curtis. And again, the Maribyrnong defenders in numbers back there. That time driven forward by Rutkowski. Looking for is that Cordelino out there? Oh yes, there is a whistle on the play, and the penalty going Maribyrnong's way. Olivia De La Plaza Sanchez was the player that was brought down just outside the box. 
yep, full Maribyrnong. Dangerous area for a free kick here. Let's see if they go with a shot on target. Try to test the keeper. Charlotte Lorenz Daniel is the keeper for Roval with the number one. Oh, it looks like they've actually given a, a throw in. They didn't, oh, it's going to be a throw in, okay. They didn't call a free kick there, yeah, just the throw in. So, yeah. From our vantage point, it's a bit hard to see over that side <laughs> of the ground. Yeah. It's hard to tell whether the ball had gone over or not. Ball driven in again by Marvadon. Once again, Roval. It's been a battle of defences in this game. And the couple of times that Roval have been successful. Not so much the Maribyrnong defence broke down, it was they were just good shots. From Roval. Ball sent up, nice stop that time by Montalto. Fresh onto the ground in the last couple of minutes. She's had a couple of touches already. Here you go Maribyrnong, once again, through Nadovsky. Touch like back. Cordelino switch sides to the right wing now. So let's see if they try to play it down this oh. right hand side. Oh, string fellow just <laughs> plowed into the ground. That's a free kick in the AFL as well. That one. <laughs> yeah. That is just in the back. <laughs> yeah, tackle from behind. Always going to be a free kick. Olivia Suarez to take it for Maribyrnong. Not as potent as it might have been had it been a bit closer to the box. Fair way out. Sets it up though, and one bounce and an easy save for Lorenz Daniel for Roval. Kick though, only going as far as Suarez, unable to control the ball. Once again, Roval take it through the middle and drive it down the centre, and it'll be an easy save for Juliet Sheriff for Maribyrnong. Nice kick from the hockey player. Sends it out wide, finds Cordellino on the right-hand side. Cross in, but coming out to meet it was Lorenz Daniel. And the first serious scoring opportunity for Maribyrnong just falling down at the end. Yeah, again, coming down to Alana Cordellino, causing trouble down the wing. Now she's on the right wing. Great pass from Juliet uh, Sheriff, the keeper, distributing the ball straight from that goalkeeper position to that wing. It's a really good ball from her. So we've got a throw in, I believe, or a free kick? Looks like a free, free kick, kick for Maribyrnong. Roville seems to have a bit more time in possession, a bit more time on the ball in midfield than Maribyrnong at the moment. Defence has been scrambling really hard for Maribyrnong in the last 15 or so minutes. Roville, plenty of pressure being applied. It's just been stopped. What happens this time? As again, Roville send it forward through Curtis. In towards goal. And Juliet Sheriff now just starting to get a little bit of confidence in her goalkeeping ability. Really. She's had a couple of touches now. Yeah, she's made a few saves in a row. She's been playing out from the back, distributing the ball, showing us uh, her punting technique as well. A bit different maybe than the or original goalkeeper Anastasia's technique, but yeah. still effective. Uh, here's a chance. Maribyrnong. Soto losing it though. In the end. Cordellino with the chase. Roval with the ball. This time it sets up now for Fernandez in front of goal. The touch on the right is cute and nice. Off the outside of the right boot. Replay shows this ball brought down. Set up perfectly that time for Fernandez, and seizes the opportunity of just getting that outside touch into the right hand corner and Roval now up 3-0 heading into half time. Yeah, Isabella Fernandez showed great pace there to get him behind, stay in front of the defense and finish that ball outside of the foot or maybe even a little toe poke in there into that side yeah. netting. 
Lolita or Dennis coming on for Roval as their uh, fourth substitute so going with freshness Roval and it's paying off from them at the moment that long ball by Maribyrnong down over the back line so we'll have a goal kick going Roval's way just on seven minutes left in this first half and Roval up 3-0 now 3-0 difficult score to come back from we'll see if Maribyrnong could get a goal back in these last few minutes going into halftime that'll be a great confidence booster for them it certainly will Coach of Maribyrnong, Adrian Mazzarella, with a bit of work to do at half time. As Roval again lose the ball to the Maribyrnong defence. Najoski, nice work. On the right boot, beautiful whirl down Cortellino. Can she get there? Cut off in the end by Giorgio for Roval. They showed their hand on that one. Cordelino was always going to be the option down the right-hand side. And I think Roval knew that. And we were able to sit up for it. Anderson sends the ball back to the keeper, Sheriff. That time she looked like she was pressured into playing a bit faster than she was comfortable to. Yeah. And that one, great pressure from Roval there. The shot came in towards goal, unfortunately for Juliet Sheriff, it just was a bit high and wide. Otherwise, I reckon she may have struggled to keep that one out. As she was still sending herself back from the kick. So, Maribyrnong with the ball once more. Cordelino, the player they're looking for. She's got the pace, but won't be fast enough to stop that one. Just a bit long. And again, Maribyrnong really looking for those through balls down to Cordelino. Not really trying to build up play in that final third, more of that counter-attack down the line type of play. We'll see if that changes uh, at, at halftime. One of the coaches of Maribyrnong, Nicholas Viaggio, joining us in special comments. As Roval through their goalkeeper in Charlotte Lorenz Daniel. Restart play once more. Nice stop by Najowski. Nice defending though, again by Roval. Get back in front. Falls down for them in the midfield. Maribyrnong take possession. Suarez sends it down the left hand side this time. Brought down in the tackle. No, play on. Says the ref. And that's exactly what they do. Roval. Wide ball, out wide, downward. Emma Downward just with the keeper to beat. Ooh. And she played that just a fraction too high over the top. And Juliet Sheriff saw that ball just float over her head. The replay shows us that Downward was all alone. It was her and the keeper only. And that touched just a bit too yeah, much. Tried to chip the keeper. Good little technique and great ball in from the Roville midfielder there to play that ball over the centre back and in behind for that breakaway. Cut off for Roval by Montalto. It's been good since she's come on. In front of goal, the opportunity there for Downward again. Two chances in the last minute for Emma Downward. Unfortunately for her, neither registering onto the board. So a 3-0 lead for Roval. Three and a half minutes left in this first half. And they have the corner kick. Sets up high. And unfortunately, the touch for Roval in front is wide. And Maribyrnong get enough to send it forward. Very close effort at the back post there. Three minutes left in this half. Girls have to make sure they stay focused and switched on. There's probably a few tired legs out there. They've been working hard. I'll be looking forward to their break. There's no doubt about that. Especially the defenders who have been extremely pressed. Sheriff sends it out wide. 
leaving it to the last second to deliver it. Again, deliver it well. Mabalon working hard again. Rakowski. They look to play the ball back through the middle. Cordelino now on the run down the rice. There goes the pocket rocket for Maribyrnong. She'll get there before the corner. Stops it. Does well. Loses it, though, in the end to Alana Murphy, who defended strongly for Roval. But gee whiz, Cordelino, when she turns those afterburners on that down the wing, she goes. Yeah, she is rapid, but the Roval defender is doing a great job. They're anticipating that ball now, and they're dropping off knowing how fast she is. Um, uh, Marbonon again looking to try and get one on the board. They've got two minutes to do it before half time. They trail 3 0 at the moment. And again, Roval putting the Marbonne defence under pressure. And I do believe that'll be another corner. Referee's given a gold kick, I believe. Enough gold kick, okay. Cool. Gives a chance of girls to catch their breath one last time probably yeah. going into this halftime. Replay again of that Emma Downward opportunity. Just going a bit too high. Could have been 4 nil just moments ago. So, 60 seconds left on the clock. Can Maribyrnong hold out? and go in with the 3-0 trail at half time? Or can they trouble the score up from this passage of play? Rutkowski with the ball back in the middle. Good defending though by Roval from their midfielders getting into the action as they look to set it up. Time running out now for Maribyrnong. Cordelino comes to meet it for them. Oh, poor bounce. Roval maybe with the last opportunity. That ball though is going to go wide. Sheriff flips it out. And by the time we get it back and have the goal kick, I think that might have been the last play. Yeah, I think so. Again, Roval still pressing up until the last minute. That was better though from Mary Benong with uh, Emily Rutkowski coming from the back, traveling with the ball into midfield and trying to play forward. Beautiful 21 degrees here at the Darabin International Sports Centre. Perfect conditions for a School Sports Victoria Premier League Grand Final. Roval with the ball once more. Mayette Giorgio sending that one in board. And the whistle from the referee signals half time here at Darabin. Roval going into the halftime break with a 3 0 lead over Maribyrnong, who have been undefeated in this competition in grand final since its inception. They've got a lot of work to do, Nicholas, to keep that record going. Yeah, absolutely. Great first half from Roval. Maribyrnong will be going into halftime, put a lot of work to do, see if they regroup, change their tactics, change their formation a bit, and we'll see what happens in the second half. We'll take a break here from Darabin with Roval taking a 3-0 lead into the half-time break against Maribyrnong. Back with the second half action shortly.
Welcome back, second half action in the School Sports Victoria Premier League Grand Final for the girls. It is Roval leading Maribyrn 3-0 after an entertaining first half of football. Tony Shebeki with you, Nicholas Biaggio joining me in special comments. Nick, uh, what do you think we're going to see in the second half? Yeah, a lot of work to do for Mary Benong. Let's see if they stay positive, create some more goal scoring opportunities and fend off that Roval attack that's been so potent so far. Well, they were strong for 45 minutes, Roval. There's no doubt about that. Can they continue that pace for another 45? Well, will Mary Benong get their opportunity? As Sienna Fowler sends the ball forward for Mary Benong. Jennifer Lopez for Mary Benong. A lot of rumours about her and Alex Rodriguez <laughs> as to whether they are together or not. Of course, that's not our Jennifer Lopez. If you've uh, just arrived as a spectator, please, so if you could please check restart. in. We've got a QR code Since here. The ball go the over. Orange, uh, and once again, Roval the window take here, lots of possession with the, the throw. Window. So if you are a recent uh, arrival to the second half... To be taken by Ash Lavender. Final, please check in on our QR code. Down the uh, line. The orange poster. Unfortunately, though, uh, Roval losing control of that ball. For them and Maribyrnong now. Appreciated. With a chance to turn it over. COVID safe, um, Sienna Fowler well to take the throw for Maribyrnong. Uh, ball comes straight back to her. Nice touch Holland on the feet. Yeah. Roval 3, Maribyrnong. The Good effort there, oh. falling down by Olivia Suarez in the end. She tried her hardest to keep control of it. Roval now with the ball through the middle. Stoichevsky on the halfway line now. Annabelle Montalto coming on as a substitute. Deep into the first half. I've got my phone on me if you get stuck. Yeah. Yeah, straight away, Roville picking up where they lo left off in the first half, pressing Maribyrnong as soon as they get the ball comfortably, uh, attacking them with three, four girls in one tight space and uh, causing the turnovers. Ash Lavender was the intended person. Lopez, though, runs through, gets the ball for Maribyrnong. And it gets kicked away from her in the end, so Maribyrnong keep possession deep in the Roville half. The turnover, though. Oh, that's nice work again. This time by Suarez for Maribyrnong. Sends it out in front of goal. Just swap. Here we go. Cordellino with the final touch. Just couldn't get it. Good defending by Roville. Yeah, great last dish tackle. Maribyrnong looking bright at the start here. Cordellino with the touch to Rutkowski. Back to Cordellino. Uh, trying everything to get this first goal on the board. It's just not working for them, though. Roval holding on to possession through Ordenes. She receives the ball again. Merbidong now with it. Anderson through the middle. Here they come. Stringfellow back to Anderson. What can Maribyrnong do with it this time? Not much, that Roval defence strong again. This time it comes out to Fowler. And through the midfield. Now Maribyrnong trying to mount some sort of forward opportunity. Good, Jono. Definitely see a bit of a change in Maribyrnong's pattern of play. They're playing through midfield now instead of going in behind with those longer through balls down the wing. And so far, it's, it's working well. Let's see if they can create some chances. It's what we saw Roval do so successfully in the first half. Anderson sends it out wide to Suarez. Down through the middle. Here they come. Schultz was the intended target. I think she might have got a touch, but in the end, lost it in Roval. Once again, they bring it down the right-hand side now, which was Maribyrnong's thing through the first half. Stringfellow gets back. Oh, good work in the end by Sheriff. 
She lost position of the ball, wasn't exactly sure where it was, and out of her peripheral vision, just saw it there and was able to dive at it Great at instincts. the last second. Great instincts to find the ball. That looked like a field hockey save there. Yeah. <laughs> Normally in field hockey, she's got a mask and a helmet and all those body padding yeah. on. You're lucky to see anything. Yeah, she just smothered on top of the ball there. She certainly did. Rutkowski. Maribyrnong again driving it forward. See the replay. Yep, well done by Juliet Sheriff to just get the fingers onto it. Otherwise, that could have been another goal and maybe even curtains yeah. for Maribyrnong. Relville were pressing for sure. They look for their first. Roval have three. Roval team full of quality players. Press again. And once again, the Maribyrnong defence holds out. Suarez sends it out wide. Back there, though, for Roval. Montalto. Good work by Maribyrnong to keep the ball. Through Soto. We will try and mount another challenge. That is onside. Emma Downwood. She's had three opportunities. And Sheriff again with a great chest and then move it forward. Yeah, great saving. Great positioning from Sheriff there. Unfortunately, though, past Juliet Sheriff. And... The fourth goal goes on the board to Roval. Yeah, another great finish. They're really putting the pressure on the back four of Maribyrnong. They're unable to clear their lines on that one. And great finish again from Roval. So Roval now lead 4-0. Maribyrnong desperately need a goal. Unfortunately, they're not going to get it from that passage of play. This time through Anderson. She drives the Roval through the middle. Again, it's downward, front of goal. Emma Downward scores her first for Roval and they go to a 5-0 lead. Great finish. Elena K. Aguri. Maya Goggin back on as well as is Katie Summers. Cheer. With Maribyrnong now with the ball. Back in the Roval half again. Just can't seem to get the momentum Maribyrnong up forward, but cannot say that about Roval. Most of their attacking plays have turned into something. Five times they've turned into a goal. They lead 5 0 here, Roval. As Rakowski tries to get some momentum up for Maribyrnong. Looked for a teammate there in Stringfellow. It was too long for her. And once again, Roval get to turn it over in the midfield. Ordenez for Rovil, taking possession. And that ball finally going over the line, be a Maribyrnong throw. Looks to be a bit of a role reversal from for Rovil in this second half. They look to be playing more of that counter-attack through ball, while Maribyrnong building out through midfield. Maribyrnong have looked better in possession, but nothing to show for it yet. Goats with the throw for Maribyrnong. And I believe it might have been a final touch close to that line from Roval. So Maribyrnong continue to move the ball forward. Coming to you live from the Darabin International Sports Centre for the John Kane Memorial Park, as it used to be known. Heidelberg United play the games out here, or they used to. I think Northcote City play here as well now. Yeah. Inside. And the 
the uh, NSL was strong in its time before the A-League. It was nothing like a classic Victorian derby between Heidelberg and South Melbourne uh, it's back in those days. Before my time, <laughs> I've only been in Melbourne the past few they years. They were willing, now. there's no Replay doubt about that. Replay and then Blackham. throw in a Melbourne Knights. And uh, you had some classic games of football being played around Victoria through those 70s, 80s and 90s. So, Juliet Sheriff was going to take the goal kick. Decides to leave it to Suarez now. As we mentioned, Juliet Sheriff called into the team today through the injury of Anastasia Samaras with a hand injury, the normal goalkeeper for Maribyrnong. Unfortunately, unable to play today in goals. So, Juliet Sheriff, who is part of the hockey program, at Maribyrnong, a goalkeeper in that program. Brought in to be a soccer goalkeeper today. And while the score doesn't flatten her at 5-0, she's done some fantastic work in her first outing on the park. Yeah, she's had a lot of work. Roville has taken plenty of shots. She's impressed me in her distribution as well, playing out from the back. Not an easy task if you haven't done it before. She did say to me at half time, it's not her calling. <laughs> I don't know, a bit of work. You just never know. Roval with the ball. Pushed off the ball there was Kay Aguirre. Maribyrnong now looking to send it forward through Rutkowski. It falls down though. Ball sent back in front of goals by Curtis. And Sheriff back there with the throw. And the restart of play for Maribyrnong. Desperately looking to get one on the board to start and mount some sort of attack on this 5-0 lead that Roval currently have. As we head up towards the 60 minute mark here in this game. Still plenty of football left for both teams to add to the scoreboard. Throw in by Lavender for Roval. Ordenez sends it into the box. Good defending by Maribyrnong, Soto with the ball as she runs down to the midfield, drive down the right hand side, Cordellino was the player she was looking for, and pocket rocket for Maribyrnong, wasn't able to take possession and once again Roval drive it forward to no avail though this time, straight back into the hands of Juliet Sheriff. Yeah, Roval back for haven't had as much to do as Maribyrnong's, but they've been comfortable dealing with those attacks so far. Here she goes, Cordellino. Can she turn it on for Maribyrnong? She drives on the inside, the touch goes back to her. Back inside now where she finds Schultz. They lose a little bit of ground, but they keep possession. Najowski with the right, just wide. But the first real positive Probably the second real positive opportunity for Maribyrnong in this game. Yeah, that was much better from the three in the field. Short, quick <coughs> passes, able to create enough space to get a shot off, unfortunately, just wide of the mark. On the halfway line, the ball met by Fernandez for Roval. Beats two defenders for Maribyrnong. Sends it down the right. Nice work to Ordenes. She also beats two, and the shot at goal is stopped by Sheriff and Maribyrnong once again look to move the ball forward they'll take possession via a throw in just short of the halfway line coach Adrian Mazzarella making a change here thank you it's only 524 degrees degrees. Okay. The temperature We're rising no, just keep it there. Keep It'll it be uh, nice and toasty for the boys when they stick about at 1.30. Not wrong. <laughs> hey, Kirsten. Hello. There's no doubt, though, that Roval have turned the heat up in this game, and they did it at an early stage. And Maribyrnong have been pretty much on the back foot since then. In the middle, Lopez. 
Drives it forward to no avail though for Maribyrnong. Most of the players working on the defensive half of the centre line. Rogel now with the ball. Looks to be offside there. Just made her run slightly early on that one. But yeah, there's definitely space in behind the Maribyrnong defence right now because they're trying to push and play in Rogel's half. Rutkowski drives it forward. Lopez did well to keep her feet. Got the touch to Schultz. Cordellino on the left, just taken off the ball. You get that feeling though that if she gets the opportunity for a clear shot, she will finish. Yeah, she's definitely wreaking havoc, running at those defenders. Just has to have enough space to get that shot off. You're absolutely right. And that ball for us. <laughs> Straight into our commentary window. Good news is, though, is that we've survived. Rovell now looking to mount another forward challenge. They do that. A nice ball out wide. Finds Katie Summers. Stops. Props. Turns around. Good work by Summers. The drive in towards goal is to the left of the post. And a goal kick will be the resultant result. Some good defending and good pressure from Anastasia Samaras, who's normally the goalkeeper. Uh, she's just come on and is playing right back now. So a little bit different to her normal goalkeeping job. Olivia Suarez. Starts the ball again, moving forward for Maribyrnong. Unfortunately, again, though, at the halfway line, the Roval numbers are there. And Juliet Sheriff was in two minds as to whether to let that roll over the back line or take it. She decided the latter was the best option. And once again, she gets Maribyrnong back into play. Rutkowski sends it across to Cordellino. Cordellino to Stringfellow. Here come Maribyrnong, down the right. Cordellino though found herself out of position. She nearly got that ball on the midfield. Robel though, able to hang on to it. This time Cordellino steps in. Here she goes again. Turns on the afterburners. Tried to get the right to the left. Little switch in play for her, but it didn't work. Yeah, she's definitely buzzing around, causing havoc <laughs> uh, to that Roeville defense. But yeah, defender made a great recovery there to stay in front of her. That's the ball now. Get sent back in. It'll be another Roeville throw. Roeville calling on another change. Under half an hour or so to go in this game. Maybe even 25 minutes. Rover with a 5 0 lead. And Maribyrnong desperately wanting to get one goal on the board. Yep, they've looked better this half in possession. That long, direct pass hasn't really been working. Now they're trying to change it up with some shorter balls. go. Maribyrnong this time through the services of Schultz. Ball goes back. Najowski. Cordellino. Najowski with the shot in towards goal. He's wide to the left. And play about to restart again. Again, Maribyrnong look more dangerous with those short triangles in midfield, short passes Alana, to get that front, space to create those shooting opportunities. Roville seemed to be dropping off a little bit, uh, avoiding that long diagonal pass that was working well for Maribyrnong in the first half. Alana. 
another change. Sees the number 30 for Roval come on, and I apologise to her and her family if I haven't called her all game because I don't know who the hell she is. <laughs> we don't have a 30 on our team sheet. But she's played well. As has Majolski for Maribyrnong. She's had a fair bit of it. That time, it was Rakowski into Schultz. And the ball stopped on the last line by Lorenz Daniel, the goalkeeper for Roval. As the ball bounces out in front of our cameraman. And Maribyrnong to take the ensuing throw. Sienna Fowler drives the ball forward now for Maribyrnong. Once again, though, Roval with some numbers up front. Rakowski tried to backheel the ball forward, couldn't. Nice touch. And a good save by Juliet Sheriff. Yep, great save Maribyrnong. again. And great reaction for that second save. Fantastic. The adrenaline must be pumping for her at the moment now. Yeah. She's looking confident too as she moves through the box, so nice to see. Good save, or good stop there by Cordellino. And Montalto retrieves her ball and throws it in for a restart for Roval. Ball played back to Sheriff. A awkward looking left foot kick from Sheriff. Finds the mark though in the end. And once again, Maribyrnong with the opportunity to drive it forward. Cordelino loses it. There's the kick up front once again. The numbers in low for Maribyrnong. Schultz, the only real player up forward against three rival defenders. This time though, Najowski tries to set it up for I think it was Schultz down the right side. And a good save by Lorenz Daniel. And that time Roville caught out just a bit. But great combination play for them to get straight back up the pitch and create opportunities. Replay of that last forward send for Maribyrnong. Very promising. But a good save in the end by the Roval goalkeeper. Keeps the sheet clean for them at the moment. A lead 5 0. Roval over Maribyrnong. As we start to get around about 20 or so minutes left in this second half. Come on, come on, jog it up. Yeah, about 20 minutes left. Let's see if Maribyrnong could continue to apply pressure and try to get that first goal. And at the same time, Roval will be looking to catch him on the counter attack as they step up. Great to see lots of mums and dads and brothers and sisters here today supporting. Of course, at 1.30, our men's game between John Faulkner College and Maribyrnong set to take place. In the Victorian School Sports Victoria Premier League Grand Finals. Our women's grand final at the moment, Cordellino for Maribyrnong, sends it forward. Great ball, a chance yeah. for Maribyrnong, and they finally get one on the board. Good work. Good through ball by Cordellino. And I think it was... Sh Suarez, Olivia Suarez, I think. The 25. Yeah, not sure who finished that one, but great vision from Alana Cordellino to play that through ball in. Right in stride and a great finish there. It was either Rutkowski or Suarez who got it for Maribyrnong. I saw the two at the start, I just didn't get the second number. The replay there shows us Maribyrnong's first goal. Penalty going Roval's way in a very dangerous position. 
Juliet Sheriff. Going to have to be on her wits. Didn't have to trouble her though, went over the top. So the lead remains at 5 1. The Rovals way. That goal should give Maribyrnong some confidence to continue to push forward, see if they could grab another one. Yeah. Slowly claw their way back into this game. The best way to apply pressure is to apply pressure. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Suarez, Cordellino, well here play. come Maribyrnong, Excellent. again through the middle, good through ball, another chance for Maribyrnong in front of goals, Ooh. just goes wide. But they're starting to make their presence felt and coach Adrian Mazzarella now starting to bring players off the bench. After a bit of a rest, Anderson coming back on. Soto coming back on. As does Consumption Farfan for Roval. Replay of that last opportunity. Just going wide on the left side. Another quick one or two though for Maribyrnong. Yeah. And the complexion of this game totally changes. Absolutely, they're starting to find some gaps between that center back and left back uh, as they did for the goal. Let's see if they can keep exploiting that. There's no doubt that the fitness of the players is gonna be challenged. It's been a hectic first half for Roval. Are they able to continue that? Good turning play for Roval by Alana Murphy. And she set that one up perfectly. The kick over the top of Juliet Sheriff. And Roval get their six. They lead 6-1. And another great chip finish. Goalkeeper came out anticipating it was going to be a 1v1 opportunity. Striker realized it. Nice little chip over. Great finish. And that's always going to be the danger with Maribyrnong pressing. There's going to be more space in behind there. And Roville found it fairly quickly there. Here's the replay. Murphy running through the defense. And a nice turn and chip. Juliet Sheriff right off her line there. And good, uh, good vision by yeah. the scorer to, to see that quickly. Absolutely. And from, I think, I believe it was number four, uh, the right winger for that ball in behind. Excellent yeah. ball. Najowski coming back on for Maribyrnong. Cordellino down the left. Ball just beats her over the line. Got applause there from Adrian Mazzarella. That's what he wants his girls to do. Move that ball forward. Give those wingers a chance to run onto it and do something with it. Cordellino's been dangerous in that situation all day. She just hasn't been able to finish. And the result is that Maribyrnong have only scored the one goal for the game. Tell you what, Nicholas, I would say also that Roval have just seemed to be a bit stronger on the ball as well. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, they've been able to bump the Maribyrnong girls off the ball Definitely. and take possession. Yeah, very physical overall as a team. Very comfortable on the ball, shifting the ball side to side. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree with that. Very good side, it looks like. Juliet Sheriff sends the ball back into play. Another example of it there. De La Plaza Sanchez losing the ball. No wrong though. Once again, able to take possession. Or do they? This time for Roval. It's Fernandez who drives it long. Which again, though, Maramong do think. Can't Roval through the services of Giorgio losing control of that ball 
and it goes over for a throw. So it's Roval up 6 1. Under 20 minutes left in this grand final for the women in the School Sports Victoria Premier League. Of course, SSV really thanks Football Victoria for their help in the running of this competition as well. Once again, Cordellino looking to run onto the ball was just a bit too long for her. And Maribong now will get the throw. Ball at the feet there of Soto. Driven in this time and trying to do something positive with it was Schultz. Just couldn't get it off the boot. Once again, Roval defending well. Ball comes loose. No offside. Maribyrnong with the ball. Roval have pressed very well, make make it very difficult for Maribyrnong to play out. Yeah. A very organized team. It's been good to watch. Six on lead for Roval. They've been the dominant team, there's no doubt about it, in this match, and that has reflected on the scoreboard. Rakowski drives it long. And the shot in towards goal is unfortunately too high and not handsome. And Again, a goal kick. Great vision from the midfielder, I believe it was Emily Rutkowski. Good through ball in behind the centre back, left back uh, gap there. Unfortunately, just couldn't get that shot on target. Here's the replay. Rutkowski, just a nice through ball. not resulting in anything in the end well not for Maribyrnong anyway they do take possession again just short of the halfway line in their half and trial by five goals in this school sports Victoria Premier League Grand Final Roval with it once more Elijah Conception Farfin Drive that forward. She takes the ball again. In, in front of Olivia Anderson from Maribyrnong. Good work in the end by Soto. Keep her feet. And as a result, take possession in the midfield. Her touch off to Anderson. Here they go again. Maribyrnong mounting a forward challenge once more through Schultz. Brought down. And a free kick will go Maribyrnong's way. Again, that was better for Maribyrnong. Quick, short, sharp passes, good triangles in there, girls finding each other to feet. But again, great defending from Roville, very organized. Schultz, the cross in front of goal, but Roville brings it back into the middle of the park. Maribyrn looking to set up, Cordellino with the touch inside. Opportunity just falling down there for Stringfellow. And Roval hack it out. And Samirez sends that ball. A moment, but. And Maribyrnong just making the defensive play. And Maribyrnong live another day. Yeah, good ball in there. Beautiful ball. Un unlucky not to finish that header. To the top of the box it was. It just wasn't going out. Goal kick going Mar Maribyrnong's way. Oh, not the best of kicks. The drive in towards goal by Downward. Used their centre back. Comes out of the Maribyrnong hockey program. <laughs> Three times the size of a hockey ball. Bit bigger uh, goal to defend in this one. I That's think. true too. <laughs> Downward with the ball again for Roval. 
This time the shot in towards goal and a beautiful save again by Juliet Sheriff. Well She's been excellent, in excellent positioning again to make that. I am to the chest of Belinda Stoicheski of Roval. She couldn't control it and it bounced off and over the back line, but that could have very easily been another goal to Roval. After Sheriff just got the fist to it and was able to punch it out of the goal face. Maribyrnong move forward again through Cordelino. Her touch inside finds Anderson. Anderson with the drive down the middle falls apart. It comes back to her though. Here's another chance. She looked for her teammate there in Dilla Pless. Rutkowski sends it forward again for Maribyrnong. In there is Dilla Plaza Sanchez. She got the boot to it that time. And went for the chase, but unfortunately, hers was the last touch. Hence the reason why she's desperate to keep it from going over the back line. And the goal kick will go Roval's way. Yeah, definitely still working hard, applying that pressure to the Roval back four, trying to force some mistakes out of them. The girls very composed playing out. So, Roval once again with the ball. I think it'll be a resulting throw in for them. It will be. A short one. The hack back that time by Suarez. Sends the ball over the line for another Roval throw. Cordelino. Pushed off the ball. Suarez brings it down. Roval, though, take possession. Fernandez. Downward. Whistle blows, though. Might have been an offside. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think offside. Yep. Starting position was just past that last defender. So, what can Maribyrnong do here? Much in the end as once again the Roval defence stands up. Good play though. And a chance for Najowski. Sends it out wide. Ball comes back into the box. No one there to capitalise though for Maribyrnong. Play transferred between teams in the middle of the park. And now Maribyrnong get the chance once again to set up something through the services of Suarez. She looked for Cordelino. But once again, Roval strong in defence. They've been repelling the Maribyrnong all day, the Maribyrnong ball all day. Fowler drives it forward. Suarez. Cordelino brings it inside the box. The touch was offside. And Roval will get a chance to reset once more. Cordelino again looking very lively, getting in behind. We saw her earlier in the game create plenty of opportunities down that left side. Now she's back on the left, still causing havoc. So after winning the first four Women's Premier Leagues, or the first three, the first three Women's Premier League Grand Finals, Maribyrnong, there was no competition last year. It looks like... The trophy is going to go to another shelf. Yeah, Roville did very good today in possession, clinical finishing, great defending. It's been an overall great team performance from them. Nice ball through by Roville to the feet this time of Conception Farfin. Brought down with the ball, play on, says the referee, and rightly so. Good tackle by the Maribyrnong defenders. Anderson now. Cordelino starts her run. The ball played through. Just couldn't get to her though. And once again, Roval defend. Oh, good work. And good body position by Suarez for Maribyrnong. Did her absolute best to hold onto the ball. Anderson with it now.
here come Maribyrnong through Dealer Plaza Sanchez. That ball sent out wide. Rutkowski. Did everything she could to keep it in. She did well. Unfortunately, though, just wasn't able to get any power on the kick. And the Roval defenders, once again, ready to move that ball into their attacking half. And they do it beautifully, but probably just a bit too long. And Juliet Sheriff waiting back for Maribyrnong with the clearing kick. Cordelino brings the ball down. Her first touch. Then sees who gets the Jets on. The pass down the left. Looking for Cordelino. Finding, though, Soto in the end. Tried to do the work on her own. And Lorenz Daniel, the goalkeeper for Roval, up to the challenge. Who's got the pace? Downward sets herself into a nice position. Was taken down by her own volition, says the referee. With a little bit of help, but nothing illegal. And Maribyrnong able to defend once more through Anderson. Moving this ball to Samirez. And unfortunately for her, her kick goes out and the whistle blows full time here for our School Sports Victoria Grand Final at the Darabin International Sports Centre and victory to Roval Secondary College 6-1 over Maribyrnong College and ending their reign in this competition three wins out of three grand finals for Maribyrnong and unfortunately that comes to an end and the trophy now goes to the Eastern Suburb School yeah, great, great performance from Roville. Maribyrnong put in the effort the whole 90 minutes, never gave up, but in the end, Roville just too strong overall. They had some really good players, Roville, didn't they? And they uh, utilised their assets. Absolutely. Very comfortable on the ball, throughout the pitch. Defenders, midfield, strikers, all the girls, very comfortable on the ball. And like you said earlier, very phys a very physical team. A young team on the park from Maribyrnong as well with a lot of year nine players. Cordelino, uh, Goats, Najoski, Rutkowski, Schultz, all in year nine, and plenty of year 10 players as well. So those girls will grow another year next year and will uh, definitely put up a good account for themselves. Absolutely, and great performances from Cordelino. She was very, very dangerous throughout the ran game. Ran all day, didn't she? Yeah, ran all day. And also, special mention, Emily Rutkowski. I thought she played very well. First half as a centre back and then stepping into midfield in the second half. She uh, did very well in possession. And definitely special mention to Juliet Sheriff, who, as we said, first time on a football park in front of goals, is normally used to a hockey arena, which is about the same size as <laughs> a football park, isn't it? But uh, just amazing work by her. Even though six goals went in, she probably saved another seven or eight. Yeah, she had a lot to do, and she really impressed me with her feet. Very comfortable with heavy pressure playing out from the back. is really good to see. Good work by our officials here today as the team photos are about to be taken to signify the friendship between these two teams. But a rivalry now, no doubt, has begun, as it has in a lot of sports between Roval and Maribyrnong. Yeah, Basketball, absolutely. there's a very competitive rivalry. Football, Australian rules football, there's a very competitive rivalry between these two schools. And now it's definitely there in women's football as well. It was there in the men's game uh, with Roval beating Maribyrnong in the first five, uh, first four grand finals in the men's competition. And then Maribyrnong finally getting their first grand final win last year against their opponents this year as well in Jork John Faulkner College. I say last year, sorry, I mean 2019. There was no competition last year. Nicholas, thank you so much for your time. We really do appreciate it. Nicholas Biagio joining us in special comments. Thanks for doing that, mate. Oh, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. And we will shut down our commentary services for you here. Very shortly, these girls will get into a situation where they'll receive their medals and their flags and the like. But as you can see now, the victorious team taking their team photo. Their coaches will have a chat to them and then the presentations to come up shortly. Thank you for joining us.
for our first game of the day. Our second game set to start in our time, an hour's time. It'll be our men's grand final in the School Sports Victoria Premier League between John Faulkner College. College, who is it? I think I need a drink of water. John Faulkner College and Maribyrnong Sports Academy. 